Shall you? Are you ready to go on a walk? Do you want to go on a walk? Yes, you want to go on a walk. You're so excited. <laughs> Tippy tappy. All right, so come on a quick adventure with me and my mom and my blind dog named Shiloh as we kind of adventure out and about and take a, about a mile long walk around our neighborhood. Okay, so first things first, these little guys are popping up all over my front lawn, all over any, everybody's lawn. Do you guys know what type of flower this is? This is a dandelion. They're super bright yellow. They're kind of have that like fluffy, almost lion. It kind of reminds me of a lion's mane. If we could put a little picture of a lion, boop, right in the middle. A very common, unfortunately, they're weeds, technically, a very common weed, but you can use dandelions for a lot of stuff. Dandelion root tea is really common. However, it does kind of taste like you're eating, like you're drinking grass. That's just my opinion. Some people really like dandelion root tea. All right, and then these guys, I looked up on iNaturalist because I wasn't quite sure what they were. They remind me of Virginia bluebells, but just very, very small. You can see the grass clumps in the background of this picture. They're really small. They're popping up everywhere on my neighbor's lawn, on my lawn. And these are actually blue hyacinths. So they're really, really pretty. Do you guys have them on your lawn? These bushes I'm seeing all around. We live right next to Balls Bluff Elementary School, as you can see in this picture. And these are on a lot of school properties, a lot of church properties, things like that. And there's some type of magnolia. I can't tell which one is which. I'm waiting for a naturalist to tell me that. But they're super pretty, so I thought I'd take a picture. So these are some daffodils. They're popping up all around um, a lot of the paths we have through our neighborhood and around the school and things like that. They are just beautiful with those white petals, that those uh, yellow right in the middle. Oh, I love them. Okay, so these guys are eastern white pines, eastern white pine trees. We have some um, at Little Tree Huggers on George and Leah's property, and they're really common um, in this because, well, let me back up. They're really common anyways because we're on the eastern United States, so they're really common just geographically. They're also pretty sturdy trees, and they're really easy to identify because each year they grow um like a new rack of branches so if you see in the second picture it's kind of like almost like spindles of branches stacking on top of each other and that's the most distinctive trait of an eastern white pine okay and then our last tree is a very very common one it's not native to this area it's a norway spruce and you can kind of tell this tree from really far away because if you look at the pictures it kind of seems like the branches are hanging down almost like if you have really flowy sleeves like the the tree branch itself is going horizontally but then the the um little branches across that are coming out of the main one are kind of falling down and they have these orange um orange twigs and branches on the younger branches so they're pretty you can usually see the orange from pretty far away thank you for joining me on that walk sorry i should have worn my sunglasses it's so sunny it's a beautiful day happy monday feliz lunes i don't know if you notice anything different about me but i cut my hair cut it all off myself i would not recommend that you guys do that definitely chat with mommy or daddy if you want a haircut but i think i definitely have enough to donate so that will be really cool but i want to challenge you guys to go on a walk today and see if you can find dandelions and those blue hyacinths that we saw, those little bluish purple flowers, and see if you can find any daffodils or magnolias as well. They're really, really common around my neighborhood here in Leesburg, right off Route 15, so I hope that you guys can find them as well. Get some time outside. It's so nice outside, I love it. I am probably gonna put my hammock up and make my next video from my hammock, so stay tuned.